Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos that you watch them, like them, share them and especially if you subscribed I'm truly grateful for that and what makes me even happier that you are back for more. And if you're new to my channel I'd like to welcome you. I am very glad that you found me and I hope that today's reading is going to be helpful for all of you. In this video we will take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of September in the areas of love and relationship. But as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. So, in the center of your reading, you do have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is the card of uh, confusion, a lot of choices, and not seeing things clearly. Uh, so uh, some of you might have a lot of options to choose from when it comes to love and that makes uh, that uh, confuses you and you don't know which one to choose from. Uh, one of them might be better than the other and uh, and a lot of choices might be confusing you. Uh, this might be, you know, multiple people that are in your life and and uh, and uh, there's something that you might be like uh, you might like in uh, every of them but you kind of know that you need to make some kind of a choice uh, and uh, whenever if that's the, your situation it's very important that you narrow down the options try to gather data try to do like a pro and con type of approach where you uh, uh, make things make a decision logically because you know the challenge is uh, that uh, you are a little bit uh, confused Again, as this is this is the card of, of confusion as well. So some of you might be dreaming about something. Some of you are trying to manifest something. But uh, the challenge is when this card is coming out that you are not sending a clear message. What is that you really want? At one point you'll want this. Uh, at at uh, another time you want something else. So try to be clearer in terms of what is that you really uh, trying to achieve what is that you're trying to manifest and and be a little bit um, more realistic as well so some of you might be very dreamy uh, this time and and very romantic but um, try to come down a little bit uh, to the earth and and see things from that point of view and your reading starts with another seven the seven of pentacles uh, so this is kind of uh, related to manifestation and evaluation. So some of you have been trying to manifest something. Some of you are trying to uh, evaluate cer certain things. So, for example, um, this can be that maybe some of you are trying to manifest a relationship and, you, and you've been single and you've been wondering, okay, when is it coming? When is it coming? Uh, why what's going on what's wrong the issue is that you are not clear with your intentions you need to be a little bit clearer if you've been trying to manifest something even in an existing relationship uh, you might be kind of going through evaluating the relationship is this the person I want do I want something else is this the kind of relationship I want or something else so you're kind of in this evaluation mode and you're trying to manifest something and you're wondering what's going on so again try to be a little bit clearer uh, in the next card we have here is the queen of wands the queen of wands can be a person yourself or the energy of the card she is all about um, attracting whatever she wants that right? she can achieve everything she wants she's very attractive uh, and and people want to be around her she's very radiant and she doesn't care about anybody else whatever they think so some of you are are able to attract a lot of things i think that's why the seven of cups is here because you're attracting all of these things but at the end it is making you very confused um and the next we have here is another seven uh the chariot the chariot is all about balance control and uh, and uh, uh, victory and uh, also leaving um, the troubles in the past and uh, 
and, and finding solutions to uh, previous problems. So for some of you in this case, it might be an indication because you know you do have the seven of cups in the center of reading, which is which is all about confusion. Maybe you need to balance things a little bit better in terms of what you think, what you wish for, uh, to be able to manifest the things you want in your life. Uh, if you are single, this card can be a good sign that this is a great time for you to meet somebody and be successful. Uh, in an existing relationship, you might uh, need to find a balance a little bit better. Some of you might be trying to control the relationship too much. Uh, so try to kind of find that balance uh, a little bit uh, better. But let's see what is the next card. The next card we have here is the moon. The moon is all about uh, um, following our instincts, following your inner guides. And it is also the card of um, fears, anxiety, and uh, and being in the dark, not knowing things. So whenever the moon comes out, there's a couple of things uh, it is kind of warning you. First of all, trust your intuition, trust your inner guidance, uh, and do uh, whatever that is uh, suggesting you. Right? It is definitely connected to uh, the confusion or the choices you have and whatever you're trying to manifest. Uh, this uh, The moon is always describing a path that where you are afraid to go down this path, but if you do, you're going to find uh, a reward at the end of the path. Again, it might be some anxiety and some fears that some of you might be going through as well. So what I, I can kind of see here that you're definitely trying to evaluate things. When is it happening? When is it happening? And it kind of makes you anxious. And and this uh, anxiety might confuse you as well in terms of what is that you are trying to attract in your life. But there might be some information as well that's uh, right now uh, you're not aware of because the moon can indicate some certain things that are in the shadows so there might be something that will be revealed to you that's gonna be help you to uh, be uh, clearer and make the decision then the next we have here is the justice card the justice card is all about uh, balance as well right like you do have two cards both the justice and the chariot that are talking about finding the balance um, so so some of you this message is very important to uh, be a little bit uh, more balanced but uh, the justice can mean also that you are getting uh, whatever you deserve so you need to kind of rethink how you behaved uh, what what have you done and, and you're gonna get uh, the reward for that. If you are good, great results. If not so good, uh, not so uh, great. Uh, but the justice can be uh, an indication for some of you, uh, some kind of a court uh, process. If you're going through some kind of a divorce, uh, this is a card that's indicating that a decision is gonna be made in your favor and you're getting whatever you deserve. And uh, you're going to be victorious because it's right beside the chariot. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because that's an indication that the reading resonated with you. And you can also help me uh, to grow the channel so the message gets out to as many people uh, as they need. And uh, for you, it is only a, the cost of a pushing a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always happy to read in the comment what's going on in your life so you do have the next card the eight of cups the eight of cups is uh, leaving things behind uh, that no longer serving you and uh, you are going on a journey to discover your true happiness your passion and you're following your instinct you're following your inner voice you have uh, the moon twice with the moon card and on the eight of cups as well so listening to your uh, your guts listening to your uh, instinct is very important
for uh, this time now leaving uh, leaving something behind can be different for everybody uh, you might be leaving a situation behind that's uh, no longer serving you you if you're single maybe you're finding a, a, a good relationship or some of you might be leaving an old relationship behind it is different for everybody it's very important that you're on the journey to find your true happiness now the next we have here is the death card which is an indication that your love life is going through a major transition and this major transition is something that you should not resist and just go along with it because the more you resist the harder this change will be like you know this is the card that's reminding us that everything is changing uh, around us and uh, again uh, an indication that a cycle is ending in your life and a new one is beginning this might be uh, for some of you an end of a relationship and starting a new one uh, but it can also be a sign uh, that you might be stepping into the next phase of a relationship of getting married getting engaged uh, but even if you are single, it can indicate that you're leaving the solitude behind and you're embarking on a new chapter of your love life. Uh, as I said, it is different for everybody. The, what is really important that you're leaving something behind and starting new, out with the old, in with the new, and uh, embrace whatever the new thing comes to you. And you do have the Page of Swords as the last card, the, uh, which is an indication of that you're getting some kind of a message, some kind of a news. This news might be a little bit delayed, but once you get the news, it's uh, a news that's going to favor you. This might be, uh, for some of you, related to this court appeal if you're going to something. Uh, but it can be also a love message. Uh, it can indicate somebody who is younger than you. But uh, the Page of Swords is somebody who's very curious, so maybe somebody is watching you, kind of spying on you. And when we look at the bottom of the deck, you do have uh, the Three of Cups, which is the card of celebration, partying, and, and being very joyful. So, before we kind of conclude this reading, we definitely need to talk about some of the numbers here. You do have the Seven of Pentacles, you do have the Seven of Cups, and the Chariot, which is also seven. So the triple seven might be an important number for some of you. Uh, maybe you are seeing this number for a while, maybe you're gonna see this number for a while, and that might be a message from above. And you know, the, I, I, I strongly encourage everybody to look up what is the meaning of uh, the triple seven. It's definitely a, a card that uh, indicates some spiritual growth and listening to your intuition and wisdom. Uh, so some of you, like you know, we talked about it at the moon uh, cards that uh, that might be an important message, but it is also a a. a, a number that can be mean that you are on the right path to achieve whatever you want and uh, and and you are uh, kind of trying to on the right path to find your happiness um, because you know this is all about uh, you know spiritual growth and inner wisdom as well and and when it comes to like uh, love, um, it can be a message uh, that your soulmate uh, is close to you, or um, or it can be also an encouragement from from the angels that you should trust the journey of finding your soulmate. And definitely, I can see that some of you are on this journey because that's what uh, the Eight of Cups is representing and there's definitely a big change uh, that you're going through and just be a little bit clearer and more down to earth. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you